Hey peoples, it's vlog time again. Now, this one was due last week, but unfortunately in case you've been hiding under a rock, you wouldn't have realised it was BPM last week. The UK's biggest DJ and electronic dance show. So, we sort of got it in now. Spoke to a few people after the show and it seems this year it was that big a show, there was that much going on that it's taken us almost a week to get over the BPM blues as we call it. Name the blues after the show and it's, it was that much that went into it, there was a lot of hard work etc. We were all absolutely shattered so unfortunately it's taken until now to get the blog underway. But we're here and we're talking. Wow! What's happened in the last month? What a month it has been. I got contacted not long after I did the last vlog and asked would I do the Video Mixing 101 seminar at BPM with Brian Red and Etronic, all sponsored by American DJ for that particular seminar and it went down a treat. There was a lot of people there that wanted to learn about video mixing and still a lot of people hitting me up on Facebook and on Skype after asking me questions. Please come and find me. I'll put a link in the description for my Facebook page, but you can find me, Andy Crampton, on Facebook. Enjoyed it thoroughly, the show. A few strange comments, though, that have been floating around the forums. Some people said they were disappointed with BPM this year, and I, I don't understand why. The, there wasn't as many exhibitors there on the show floor this year, but the quality of the stands themselves was incredible. American DJ, they threw one hell of a party, two days running. On the Saturday and, uh, sorry, on the Monday and on the Sunday. Sunday was Pizza Fest. Monday they threw one hell of a party because there's a lot of schools and colleges going to BPM on the Monday. So they threw one hell of a party for the school and college guys. Uh, who, again, loved it. The one that killed me was the people that said they, were, they weren't impressed with it. Now, BPM is turning more and more each year like Mobile Beat. Mobile Beat out in Las Vegas. It's more about the education, which is what I go to BPM for. I go to learn. I go to learn a lot from the guys that are already doing it, that are doing it better than me. Mobile Beat is that way. Mobile Beat, would you believe, is $250. It's around about £175 just to get into the show. BPM? £15. £10 if you buy online. Your ticket's online. The show floor at Mobile Beat is a quarter of the size of BPM's show floor. But the education is second to none. And this is what Mark Walsh is doing with BPM, or seems he's doing with BPM, more and more each year. It's more about the education and the learning. People just need to see this and go and look at the education. Don't think, these guys can't teach me nothing. Because believe me, I'm learning a lot from them. I enjoyed the education. It's not all about weddings and chasing weddings and how to market weddings. There was electronic dance workshops, how to produce, how to remix on the fly. There was different companies demonstrating their newest products. And there was also a forum there helping mobile DJs that are doing it full time. Because I don't care who you are, how good you are, you can do it better. And you can make a little bit more money at it which is what the game is all about. Let's face it, we don't do this game for fun. It's the love of the music, it's the love of the buzz we get at the end of the night when we've seen somebody have a good night, but at the end of the day, that doesn't pay the bills. Next year when BPM comes around, really, it's worth going to those new seminar domes that they've put in. They've moved them out of the crowded little rooms, they're in big air-conditioned domes in there, the outside noise has been closed off to the domes. It's a real nice learning environment. But enough about that. If you want to know about BPM and everything else, take a look at my videos. What else has been going on this month? Can't go too far into it, 
but I've actually been approached to make a music video for a very big up and coming artist. It was after an interview that I filmed for somebody at BPM. They were that impressed with the editing skills and the camera skills that they've actually approached me now to make this music video, which I am looking forward to. Nobody's really come forward with anything huge that I'd put to you over the vlog of questions I've been asked. A lot of it is what controller, what amps, what TVs, etc. for going into the VJ work. The only thing that I can say is I was stunned at the beginning of this month by a product that was released. Now, those that know me, I am not a pioneer man. I'm not a pioneer fanboy. I never have been until now. All the details were released to us at around about midnight and I was sat there with Nigel looking through and Nigel is a pioneer man, he couldn't believe what he was hearing from me. I couldn't believe this controller. It's incredible. The DDJ SX that Pioneer have just released. Wow. Ticks every single box and then some. At the moment you know I use Virtual DJ. This has been designed purely for the new Serato DJ that is coming out to replace Itch. Don't worry. All you guys, Scratch Live will still be there and always will be. This is to replace Serato Itch. The thing that did it for me was the eight velocity pads that they have put on this. It's a controller, four channel, MIDI controller or analog mixer. Pioneer sound quality behind it. It's a real nice looking piece of kit and it was the eight velocity pads on each side that did it for me. Set up for Serato, it will sample, it will loop roll, it will cut, it will hot cue and it is all down to the velocity pads. How hard you hit that pad is how hard or should I say how much of an effect it has on the effect that you're using. Really worth a look guys, it's changed a non-pioneer guy for the better. And I'm going to go out there, take a look at it a little bit more closely. Unfortunately at BPM Show, Pioneer didn't have it hooked up to any software because Serato DJ isn't released until November. I can guarantee you, as soon as Serato DJ is released and I'm happy with the software, I will be out there for that controller because in the price bracket of under £1,000, which is cheaper than the T1 and the S1 that Pioneer released for Traptor and for the original Serato, it has got to be worth a look at. So, what else has that been happening this month? DJ TV Live, we're back. Those that only know me on YouTube, don't know about DJ TV Live. We've just brought it back on a slightly different format. As you may know, both me and Nigel Harwood, DJ Nigel, used to belong to the DJ business. The doors closed on the DJ business, but we wanted to carry on the live streaming shows that we did on a Wednesday and a Tuesday night. Nigel did an audio show on the Tuesday night, I did a full video mix show on the Wednesday night. We are back. Easiest way to find us and find out what's going on is take a look on Facebook under DJ TV Live. All separate words, DJ TV Live, you can find us on Facebook. That will connect you to the live streaming page and it will also tell you what's going on and when we're doing it. The other one that's come back as well from DJ TV Live, very, very popular with a lot of people, was Harry's House. That's right. If you take a look under Harry's House on Facebook, you'll find him, Andy Blackborough, or Harry Bow, and he's streaming live, coming back tonight. So as you're watching this video, Andy's coming live at 10 o'clock tonight on his channel. You can check out my Facebook page. There's going to be a link up there forwarding you to him. It'd be well and truly worth your while going to see him. He's an incredible house DJ and worth watching. Until next month, if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them in the comments box below, or I'll answer them in next month's vlog for you. Until then, take care.